Hello, welcome back to Deconstructing with Dawn. I wanted to share with you guys the first time I am able to put makeup on in five weeks. Five weeks ago today was the last time I've had makeup on my face. Five weeks ago tomorrow is when I had my nose surgery, so I've just not been able to put makeup on my face. I have put lip gloss on, I tried mascara a few times, um, but my face has just been so swollen and puffy that even the mascara was not uh, well with my face. <laughs> um, so I wanted to share with you guys the first time putting makeup back on. I've had to change a few things because I'm afraid of how it's gonna hurt my face so I'm not using my normal stuff but um, you know it's, it's a learning process and one of the most important reasons why I wanted to do this was because I wanted to share with you guys this um, Too Faced chocolate gold palette that I picked up at Ulta for half off what was it last week or maybe the week before it was one of the first days that they were having their beauty deal beauty deals and so I paid um, $24 I think for it I, ha I know there's some gold in there and I know it smells like chocolate my daughter says but I haven't opened it since I bought it so I wanted to open it with you guys um, one of my most favorite palettes that I have is this Too Faced Chocolate Bonbon. Um, my best friend and I, I got us both these kits. It was um, the palettes, like the mascara, the lipstick, um, eyeliner, I think. And I got us both matching sets for her birthday two years ago. Um, it's one of both of our favorite um, palettes. I haven't even dipped into uh, the pan on anything in a two-year period. Um, it was kind of funny, we were both in Vegas last summer and we both pull our palettes out. We were both, you know, that's how much we use them. So um, here we are 48 and we're still acting like 13-year-old sharing makeup. Not sharing makeup, but using the same makeup. Um, she in turn got me this Too Faced Cat Eyes for my birthday the year afterwards. And um, it's not one of my favorites because A, it doesn't smell like chocolate, and B, the colors are a little different than I'm used to. But I do use this one all right here as a base, and then these two browns is my most common one that I use. And it's nice and easy in my purse, so um, if I ever have to do makeup on my on the road, <laughs> I like to bring that one. Um, I'm also going to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex sample that I got of mascara. Um, and I'm also going to use the Sugar Daddy um, lipstick that actually came with the Bon Bon palette. I haven't used it very much because I'm not a lipstick kind of person. Um, I'm also gonna use the primer. That This is my favorite primer except for the um, Pore Professional from, what, what is it, It, I think? Um, this, this is so easy to go on most importantly, which is gonna be really hard at this point. So I, I'm gonna use this. Um, it's like a, a real thin coconut lotion kind of thing. So that's what I'm gonna use for the primer um, to hopefully not hurt me. <laughs> um, anyway, so I'm gonna get right into it. So as I said, I haven't worn makeup in five weeks and I really can't see myself because these glasses are just really messing with me. Um, they're prism glasses. I got them in January and then I got my nose done a month and a half later. Well, prism is to be specific on the visual light uh, sight line. And because my nose is now bigger right here, because they put the new turbinates in, um, it's adjusted my vision. Uh, my glasses are not in the right spot. So it has been uh, miserable. I have to go back and once my nose, the swelling is down, I have to go back and get new glasses or new lenses because the prism is off. So there is the uh, Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. I'm gonna put it on my nose primarily because it's just so dry. I've been using a lot of moisturizer um, because my nose was so swollen, it cracked, like literally it cracked. And um, because it cracked, as is my sinus area here, um, it was so swollen that it like cracked the skin. And so um, it is like, you can't see here, but in real life, um, right here, it's just like, Kind of like if you had a sunburn, you know, and it's not really peeling yet, it's kind of like that. But this whole area here was just so swollen, and anyway, um, that is where I'm gonna focus on putting, God, see how much, like, your face just gets red? Um, does everybody else's do that? Anyway, I'm hoping that works. Okay, so what I wanna use for a primer, because this was supposed to be a foundation, Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation by MAC. NC20 is the color. It is horrible for foundation. I don't care what you say. It's horrible for foundation. But I and it's like a baked. It's like a baked cover to it or something. Oh my nose. Okay. Um. But what I have found that I liked about it is I can use it for a base for my eyeshadow. And so I would normally put on. Um. Uh, what is it called? My foundation first. But because I'm being a crybaby right now, I'm gonna do that last. So if anything, if I back out of the foundation part, uh, my eyes will be done. 
Um, okay, you know, I probably should have brought a mirror out instead of using the camera, but okay, so that's just, I'm just using that, and, and I know a lot of people use a foundation for a um, primer on your eye. So anyway, now the moment I've been waiting, oh, stupid, there's the colors right there. <laughs> What a ding dong. I wish I could smell smell this. Um, some of the colors are called Money Bags, Chocolate Gold, Decadent, So Bougie, Bougie, Bougie. Oops. Stop. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at that. That's so pretty. Okay, so here's the inside. I don't know. I don't know. I can't smell a thing, but this is the colors. That is a beautiful palette. Um, okay, so I'm obviously going to go with Living Lavish, which is purple, right down there. That's going to be my, like, major color. Um, I'm going to try Rollin' in Dough, which is, um, a base right there at the bottom. Um, and I'll, this is my most favorite brush. I washed these before I had surgery, so they're all fresh. But this is Royal and Lang Nickel Crease and Smudge Brush. So, um, I am just going, I don't know why it's, yeah, I guess I, I'm going to use this mirror. Um, so I'm just going to, over the base that I used for that MAC, I'm just going to um, put this all over. You know, I can't smell it, but some of this stuff just fell into my mouth. <laughs> some of the fallout, and it tastes like chocolate. So that's cool. So this smells like chocolate, just like the other one, if I just could smell. Um, okay, so that's, you know, no different than anything else. It's just a... Uh, a base color it's going on nice other than a little bit of fallout um, and I'm going to dust my face off with my kabuki brush here <laughs> um, this was a target beauty box eco tools um, thing and then I'm going to just uh, take the smudge into this not oh, the smudge Would that be the smudge end of it yeah and I'm gonna put it in living lavish and I'm gonna try to make like a line here. Yeah, no. Okay, so I'm, I'm just putting it into the Living Lavish right here. And it's kind of dark, but um, it's not going on very dark. That's interesting. Huh. I wonder if I try, okay, so I just did it sideways instead of up and down. Um, and get a little bit here. It shows really dark, right? But it's not showing up really dark. Maybe if I try the um, the other end. Well, that goes on better. <laughs> God, look how red my face is. Anyway, I, I'm going to try to man up and post those other videos. This is not working well. I don't like this. It is so dark. I'm surprised it's not going on dark, you know? I'm definitely using the wrong brush, obviously, right? But it's hard and stiff, and it's still really struggling to get on my face, so on my eyelid. Huh, I'm not liking that. That kind of sucks. This is not going as well as these other ones are. The other, um, the bonbon, they are all really nice and, huh. Okay, well... I don't want to go on about this forever. It looks like I've been beaten up. Okay, that's all I'm going to do, I guess. Um, eh, I'm not really happy with that. Okay, so I'm going to move on to... Um, I, don't, I don't want to do this. Okay, I, I'm going to use this adjustable foundation in Light Neutral by Ulta Beauty. I had to open it like that. <laughs> it's just a powder foundation with this sponge thing here. Um, I'm not going to use any of the pouncy tools or anything like that. I'm just going to kind of wipe it on my face. Um, and I'm going to try everywhere else. <laughs> oh, that's really kind of, um, oh God, just, just underneath my nose it hurts. Okay. This is kind of anticlimactic. Like, I was really expecting, oh, my face is going to look so amazing now that I can put makeup on it. And, um, it's not. <laughs> so I guess, what, well, you can't fix everything with makeup, huh? Oh, my eyes still have the bags underneath of them from the surgery and the swelling. Okay. 
I'm just like, oh gosh, okay. This is a little bit better up here. Whew. Good Lord. This is supposed to be buildable foundation, so that's good, because it's gonna take a lot, isn't it? It kind of matches my face more than I thought it would, huh? Ooh. It kind of blends in nicely. It, it like, like you put it on and then it, oh God. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, that brought tears to my eyes. <laughs> Oh, okay, 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 okay. I can do this. Okay. Oh. Okay. I think I have a lot on my nose, don't I? <laughs> oh, oh, God. Okay. I have these like new creases. Oh God, I never had like these like crease inside of here. And now I have, now I have them because it's my nose is like more round. Oh my God, that hurts. <laughs> okay. You know, uh, I don't know if I can do much more. Okay, you guys, <laughs> that's about all I can handle. I'm just gonna start crying so much that um, what I already have on is gonna come off. So, okay, that's it, that's all I can do. That's all I can do, I, it looks ridiculous, but see how dry, oh God. All right, that's the best I can do. Um, so, okay, if that wasn't horrible, that, um, Foundation's not horrible. Um, it's gonna be okay for my glasses, so that's nice. Um, now I'm gonna do the Bye Bye Pores Illumination um, Radiant Translucent uh, Setting Powder with my Kabuki thing, and I'm gonna try to you know do it where I would normally do it underneath my um, eyes and stuff. Although you don't really have pores under your eyes, so it's not you don't really need to get rid of pores there. Um, it's just kind of setting it, and uh, this was this was uh, one of those surprise gifts that I received from that mystery person. But I'm just now finally getting to it because I had all these other um, setting powders that I needed to use to make room for it in the drawer. Um, my nose just looks horrible. <laughs> now it looks like I have a white powdered nose, like an old. What, 1800s judge? Yeah, look at how bad that looks. It's like shiny right here. And this is another thing that's happening. I'm getting these horns on my nose. So it's I'm just not happy with the way my nose is looking yet. <laughs> um, okay, so now I'm going to use the Pixie by Petra that I got in the Ipsy bag. No, no, no. Cody, can there ever be a video that I do where I'm not interrupted by dogs? You guys don't know this yet because I haven't posted it, but this came broken. <laughs> Actually, no, it did not come broken. I broke it, I think. Um, but it's one of my most favorite blushes ever. It has a, uh, it's, um, I don't know. Okay, so I'm using a Clinique blush brush that is my most favorite brush. I can't say it's my most favorite. It's the only one I ever use, so maybe it's my favorite because I'm just too cheap to use my other pretty ones that I've gotten. But I'm using the blush side right here and just, um, doing that and then it has the illumination side on the other side um but i i this is pixie by petra and i um re, uh, used 500 points on ipsy to get it and then when it came i dropped it um i haven't shared that video with you guys so here i am telling you stuff you don't even know anyway i'm gonna try to put a little bit of highlighter on my nose because let's highlight the fact that my nose looks ridiculous okie dokie Okay, so that's that. I can't believe I broke this. This is my most favorite blush. Um, the other one I had, I actually used the entire thing and then I end up breaking this one. So I am not the kind of person that knows how to, you know, tap it down and fix it. So I'll just have to use it like that really gingerly. Um, okay, so then my, I've shared with you guys this before. This is the Avon Brunette Powder for, um, 
uh, eyebrows. I have used this for about probably 15 years and it's this hard little brush right here. It's my most favorite thing ever. Um, I don't think they make it anymore. I've seen um, Avon's uh, catalogs and I have recently and I have not seen it in there. So once this goes, I'm gonna have to start using all those other samples I've received, but um, it's a good color for me. It's foolproof in a sense, you know, you just follow your own eye sh or your own uh, eyebrows and just color it in. That's all I do. I don't, no, 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 no barking. Everybody in this house is barking about something today or growling about something. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the Better Than Sex, which is false advertisement, <laughs> um, mascara here, uh, Voluptuous Volume. It is not the most fantastic ma mascara. It's a nice thick kind of mascara, but um, I really like the uh, Tarte Ready Lash, whatever. I can't even see what I'm doing here. Um, okay, so get this close here. Oh, up close, my nose looks ridiculous. Y'all, wow. So, um, thankfully I have decent eye sh uh, ma uh, eyelashes. So all this pretty much does is darken them and, and make them a little bit longer. Um, oh God, these dogs. She has a toy up against me and she's wanting me to throw it. So she pushes it up against me and makes it squeak so that I'll get annoyed and then throw it. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go back and do my lower line, my lower l l lash line or whatever with the Live and Lavish. Um, see, that went on nicely. Huh. That went on really nicely. Look how dark that is. That is strange. Why did it do that? Because I don't have um, primer down there maybe? I don't know. So now I'm gonna put a mascara on my lower lash. Uh, God, doing that, uh. You guys cannot see how bad my nose is. Oh, I mean, I, ooh, look at that. Maybe you can see and I'm just being delusional. Okay, so the final thing is the Sugar Daddy Too Faced Lipstick, which is a really good color for me. And that is it, 18 minutes to show with you how to put on makeup, or not how to put on makeup, how I put on makeup for the first time after nose surgery. I'm not happy with the way my nose looks, but whatever, it's the first time I'm putting makeup on, so I guess, it's the best I can do at this point. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna try to man up and share with you the other videos where I look redonkulous, but, um, and this might be the last one so you guys can see <laughs> how it goes. But um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> my lips, I, I don't have full control over my mouth here yet, so I look stupid. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon.